Now let's start. And again, if you haven't heard me share this, you might be saying, you know, what the heck do we mean by superpowers? And when I started in my work as an executive coach, you know, I really focused my work on helping people work with their strengths. Now, this is a very popular approach. And, you know, many people have probably done Strengths Finder or they've read works by Marcus Buckingham or several other people who talk a lot about strengths. But what I found when we started talking about strengths is that people's attention would naturally go somewhere else. Any guesses? Yeah, it would go to weaknesses. Now, you know, it's rare that we can keep focused on our strengths and not get distracted by trying to attend to our weaknesses. There's actually a scientific reason for this. It's called a negativity bias. It's um, our body's way, our brain's way of trying to keep us safe. You know, we want to protect ourselves. We want to stay small. We want to, you know, stay out of the way of the dinosaurs. But we don't need that today. So the data is very clear. When you focus energy on fixing your weaknesses, yes, you can get a little bit of improvement, but when you focus the same amount of energy on your strengths, you get multiple times more growth. Where our attention goes, our actions follow. You know, this is a very foreign idea to many of us since most of us were raised in school systems where um, if you came home with five A's and one C, What do you think you're told to focus on? You're told to focus on the C. But the reality is that spending time in your A space might have been better off for you in the long term. So I realized strengths just wasn't enough to help my clients and people who are part of our red cape revolution where we're soaring at work, we're not being pulled down, where we feel like we can gain our clarity, build our confidence, take control. So When I started writing my book, and of course, I didn't know it was going to be called Bring Your Superpowers to Work, but I started talking to a lot of successful people. I wanted to find, you know, what were their secrets? What were maybe some of the key threads that made them successful? And I really expected to hear lots of different things, but it was really interesting. The things successful people said made them successful were never things that were on their job description. They were never things that were in their company's competency model, if that's a term you're familiar with. It's a list of the types of skills, attitudes, perspectives that a company decides they want in particular roles or across their entire company. These things were never on their their role profile. You know, for example, when's the last time you saw sense of humor on a job description? You know, maybe there are a few companies out there that are using that. Um, How about ability to care? If you've ever seen those, I'd love to hear about it. But for most part, the things that are in job descriptions and competency models are very specific work-oriented things. Project management, organizational skills, uh, relationship management. But... That made me realize we needed a new way to talk about how to work in the new world of work. We needed to have a way to bring in all of those things that make us successful. Because when you talk to successful people, they often say the things that made me successful were my sense of humor or my ability to get along with different people or my high energy. Those aren't on job descriptions. So I realized superpowers, when you break it down, has so many different elements of what people are talking about when they say what makes them successful at work. So super, it's something that's above, elevated, it's great, it's amazing. It's something that's super about me, and I feel super about it. It's power. It's something that has strength and force and even focused energy. You know, I'm using my sense of humor. That's really a focus area. That's where I just, I know I'm on. And then we even break it down to the plural, powers. You know, when we talk about powers, we think about special characteristics or talents, such as the powers of persuasion. So you put them all together and you get superpowers. Plus, doesn't it just sound like fun? So how about you? Do you know your superpowers? Do you know 
what, how you make a difference at work beyond just your work characteristics, beyond just the fact of the tasks and the tools and the things that you know how to do. So some of you may have done some of this work before. There's a lot of free tools out on our website at redcaperevolution.com. But in case you haven't, or in case it's been a while, this is what we're going to do in this module. We're going to take deep dive into your superpowers. And when I say deep, it's actually going to be deep and fast. I'm calling these superpower sprints. Now, one of the things that I find when I'm working with groups and individuals is that very often we get all caught up in our heads, especially the smart people that I work with. You know, we just overthink everything and we stress out and we just try to reach for every possibility. But the beauty of doing a sprint is that you're only focused on this particular thing for a short period of time. And when you're only focused on one particular thing, all those other things in your brain start to go away. All the other messages and ideas and wonderings and asking, you know, have I fed the dog or, um, you know, what am I doing a week from Thursday? No. So we're going to spend the rest of our time doing superpower sprints. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a timer. And I just pulling mine up right here. Now, my handy dandy iPhone, any of your phones have some element of a timer on them. Um, now, if you don't have a phone handy, then I urge you to go, if you're, if you are, you're already online watching this video, um, go to online-stopwatch.com. Online-stopwatch.com will bring up on your computer a stopwatch that you can set for the times that I tell you, and you can hit go and do this. Now, if you happen to be listening to the audio and you're driving or you're doing something else you need to pay attention to, maybe you want to put this on pause until you have a little bit of time to also sit with your workbook and to put watch the time as well. Okay, so do you have a clock? Let's get ready for our first superpower sprint. So you're going to write for one minute, just one minute, what valuable skills, talents, attitudes, and resources are a natural part of how you work and live. Don't overthink this. Don't like, don't try to get a perfect answer. In one minute, I want you just to pardon the expression, vomit up whatever comes up. There's no right and wrong here. Okay. I'll come back to you at each 15 minute segment. So, you know, I'm still here. You know, the video is still running. Ready, set, one minute, go. That's 15 seconds. That's 30 seconds. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't overthink it. Just keep writing. That's 45 seconds. Come on, push out a few more valuable skills, talents, attitudes, resources. And that's time. Okay. Did you get some written down? Terrific. Okay. Stop wherever you are. We're going to go on to the second sprint. The second sprint is, you know, what are the topics, the ideas and the fields that I get really, really curious about? You know, are there articles that when you see them online or in the paper or magazine that you rip out and you kind of want to spend some more time with? Or are there particular people or TV shows or types of movies that you're always following up, you're really curious about? Let's just brain dump all of these. Again, you've got one minute. Don't judge it. If you like something that you think is not politically correct or something that sounds dumb or goofy, don't judge it. Write it down. Anything that you get really, really curious about. Okay. Ready, set, go. That's 
That's 15 seconds. Come on. Keep thinking about what you're curious about. And now you're at 30 already. Okay, what else? What are the subscriptions you have to magazines or blogs or anything that comes into your inbox? That's 45. Come on, just a few more. Other things you're just curious about. You just, you really love to know more about. Okay, and that's time. All right. Put your pen down. Okay. Now, you'll see in each of these, I have a column marked for your fave. We're going to go back to that. So just ignore it for now. So I want you just to keep writing on any of these topics, just anything that comes to mind. Again, this is a no judgment zone. Okay. So the next sprint we're going to do is what am I known for? by friends as well as work colleagues. You know, what are the words they use for me? What do I hear them saying? What are the characteristics? Okay? And again, don't judge it. These don't have to all be wonderful things. Maybe sometimes they're things that, you know, might not be so wonderful. Let's just get them out, get them down on paper. Okay, one minute. Ready, set, go. You're at 15 seconds already. And that's 30. Don't forget to write down the good things that you know you're known for, the compliments people give you, the things that they give you kudos for. That's 45. Come on, push a few more. What else are you known for? Okay, and that's time. How was that exercise? Simple? Hard? You know, if it was hard... This may be a great action. We'll talk at the end of our module about actions, but it may be you need to ask this question. I find this very often is that we go through our work and our life and, you know, we just don't ask other people when they think of us, when they think of our contributions, what do they think? What do they think our superpowers are? How do we make a contribution to them? So we'll go into that more as we talk about actions. Okay, deep breath. All right, shake out your writing hand. Are you ready for the next sprint? Here it is. What do I want to be known for? You just spent some time talking about the things that you know you're known for, you believe you're known for. What's the missing piece of the puzzle for you? What do you want to be known for? What do you want to be recognized for, rewarded for, acknowledged for? This one is just 30 seconds. Don't judge it. Don't overthink it. Just feel it in your gut. You know, they actually say that there are as many neurons that have to do with thinking in our gut as in our brain. So, you know, gut feeling, there's actually a real reason why we need to trust our gut sometimes. So go with your gut. What do you want to be known for? 30 seconds. I'll give you the 15 and 30. Ready, set, sprint. That's 15. Keep going. Just whatever comes up in your mind is right. And that's 30. Okay, stop. How was that? Did you come up with anything that's different than what you're already known for? This is all good input to think about, not just what your superpowers are now but the direction that you want to go, the clarity you want to reach, the person you want to become in your life at work. 
Okay, here is another sprint for us. Okay, if I could wave a magic wand and there were no consequences, what would I change in my life at work right now? If no one was going to get ticked off, if no one was going to get upset, if it was easy, if, you know, you just could go zam, this thing's changed. What would you change? What would you change? Okay, again, 30 seconds. Don't think about it. Just, you know, put your brain in kind of that wish place that, you know, if this, I could change this, that would be awesome. Okay, ready? Ready, set, 30 seconds, sprint. That's 15. Keep writing. You have a magic wand. Use it. And bam, that's 30. Okay. Was that fun? Was it kind of fun to have a magic wand for a while? Okay. So here is the last question. So what am I doing when I'm in my superpower space? So we've gone through lots of different characteristics and feelings, but just without judging it, what are those things you're doing, the type of work you're doing? So for me, I know that speaking, coaching, writing, those things are in my superpower space. So some of the other parts of my work life, doing the bookkeeping, doing the, uh, you know, the, the, cleaning up of emails and some of those things, you know, they're not good use of my time. They're not in my superpower space. So those are things that I have to make a choice about how they get done so that I have more free time to do the things in my superpower space. What are you doing when you're in your superpower space? You can be as specific as you want. If it's one particular type of project or work or one kind of tool you're working with or person you're working with, anything goes, okay? We're going to do a 30 second sprint. Ready, set, sprint. That's 15 seconds. Keep writing. What are you doing when you're in your superpower space? Okay, and that's 30. Okay, shake it out again. All right. How is that? You know, are some of the things you wrote down things that you're that are really fun and interesting to you? You know, or did you struggle? Did you not have a whole list of things that you're doing when you're in your superpower space? Things that make you feel that you just you're soaring, you're you're in the right place at the right time that that the work you're doing really matters. So now I want to take another 30 seconds and across all of those, I want you to go back and just do again, this is a, just a gut check. Don't overthink it on each page. I want you to mark your favorites. Now I know they're not all equal, right? But if there are talents and skills that you're just like, yeah, I love this about me or um, the things I'm curious about. Oh, this is this thing I'm most curious about. Or here's the stuff that I love that people say about me and then I want more people to say about me. Or the thing I want to for people to say about me in the future. So in each of these questions, flip through, the, flip through them really quickly and you're going to have 30 seconds to just mark your favorites. So we're going to just revisit that brain dump you did and cull it down into the most important things. Okay, ready, set, sprint. That's 15. Keep flipping through the pages. Keep marking. Don't judge them. Don't evaluate them. Just mark them if it's a favorite. If you love it, check it.
Okay, and that's time. All right. Good job, sprinters. Okay, so now you've got a big list of characteristics, of experiences, the kind of work that you're doing when you're in your superpower space, of words, phrases that people use to describe you, things that you would like people to say about you or know about you. So what did you discover here? Now, certainly this exercise, if you're someone who has really been working on getting the clarity to make the hard decisions about what's next for you, you may want to spend some more time on this. You can go back, do this sprint again. You can certainly pause and give yourself more time to go through the exercises. But I urge you to think about what you discovered. What's the gut thing that's coming up? You know, are, did you see a pattern where you were writing about things that were more creative and yet your current work might be more structured? You know, did you see a pattern where you were really interested in and had a lot of personality types that people are saying to you that you were uh, someone who was very serious and yet, you know, you'd like to be a little more lighthearted or maybe vice versa. Maybe people think you're the jokester and you're ready to be taken seriously. So what are your superpowers. Remember, the superpowers are not just our strengths and talents and skills, the things that we often see on job descriptions or that people put on even their LinkedIn profile. What your superpowers are often bringing in those things that sometimes you leave at home. You know, I've told the story in some of my uh, speeches around a healthcare consultant that I worked with who loved her job, loved her company, um, and then came down with breast cancer. Now, she was a fighter, and now she's a survivor. And as many of you out there know, that's a tough, tough battle, but she is winning it. And she went back to work and tried to pick up the pieces of her life. And she found that the work she loved so much just felt different tasted different if you can taste work. And so she came to me because she thought, well, I guess this means I have to go find a new job. I guess that this work doesn't work for me anymore. But what we realized is that all of the lessons she learned, all the struggles, all the new knowledge, everything that she had learned through her journey as a now a cancer survivor has influenced her and changed and grown her. They've grown her superpowers. It actually is part of her superpowers. But she was leaving all that at home. She wasn't bringing it into her client conversations. She was so afraid to like bring up that something had happened to her. And even the lessons that she had learned, that she was acting like somebody who had never been through the experiences. And it felt you know, out of sync for her. You know, it felt like, you know, two keys together on a piano. Once she started to accept that what she'd been through, what she learned was part of her superpowers, her work suddenly got easier. She stopped trying to overthink, oh, well, you know, when I'm talking about these things in my work in as a healthcare consultant, I can't tell my personal stories. Of course you can. And what she found, surprisingly, is that her clients and her colleagues actually were more drawn to her because she seemed like somebody who was so much herself. And her stories were unique and valuable and different, and they added value to her work. So what are you leaving at home? What are the things that might be your superpowers that you're resisting thinking about how they can actually benefit you in the world of work? Okay, one of the things I promised in this class is that we are going to move you forward. We're going to create actions and not big honking things that you don't have time to do. But let's just do a little final sprint of what are the actions that you can take today to move closer to your superpower space. You might not know perfectly what your superpower space is yet, but through all those questions, you have an inkling. Is it that you need to be working with more people or maybe more independently? Or you need more structure or maybe less structure? What's the action? What are the, all the actions that come to mind? 
We're going to take 30 seconds, and I just want you to write them down. What are all the actions? And don't judge them and don't say, but I, but uh, uh, you know, don't stop and do that. Just write them down. What are the actions? Okay, 30 seconds. Ready, set, sprint. That's 15. Okay, that's 30. You know, when in those actions, and, and what's an action really? It's something we do, something we say. It may even be something we think or a way we think differently. Uh, I often say that we have more control than we think because we can control everything we say, everything we do, and everything we think. So there's an action in there somewhere. What's the easy one? What's the one that you could just take right now, today? Mark that one. And let's get it on your calendar. Let's get it moving forward. Okay, so that's our superpower deep dive. I hope you found something that was useful to you as you continue to explore how to get career clear. I would love to hear what you've discovered. What's, what was the aha here? What was something that you know you knew, but when you stopped like talking back to yourself and talking yourself out of things that these sprints help you get clear on? Tell me, email me. You can just shoot me an email directly. I love to hear from you. And if this was hard for you, or if you had questions, or if you struggled, tell me that too. It's only with your feedback that we continue to improve and strengthen all of the content that we'll be sharing in our master class.